Hello, Ryan here, and welcome back to another Pokemon Explained video. Today, we're doing another tier list. This time, though, we're not doing it on a type, we're doing it on... Starters. Yes. As always, I'm joined by my friend Rowan. Nice to be here again. And, uh, yeah, we're ranking all 74 starter Pokemon. It's a lot we've, of Pokemon. We've got uh, Pikachu and Eevee here because the technically starters i mean the pikachu was a starter in yellow and let's go pikachu and eevee's a starter in let's go and xd gale of darkness right yeah 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 let's go with bulbasaur my favorite of the uh gen one starters yeah i i think i'd go a for it this list is going to be so top heavy yeah there's not many that i don't like in this okay well, we'll need to do a lot of adjusting i think yeah because the A is going to be like three rows long. <laughs> Ivysaur, you like less, I like more. Or equally with Bulbasaur. Okay, B. Where would you place it? I would have put B. Okay, so it's like a B plus. Venusaur. Yeah. Uh, I want to put S for that one. That's We should have like three Pokemon each tier list where we get to place it wherever we... Well, like, it has to be, like, an S or something. You know? Okay, but you're going to select weird Pokemon for S tier. <laughs> Charmander. I like it less than Bulbasaur. Okay. I like Charmeleon more, but you don't. Yeah. And Charizard, obviously, is going to be S. I mean, I'd put it more of an A, but I think everybody likes Charizard so People much. will rage if we put it any lower. It's iconic. Squirtle. I like it more than Charmander. Squirtle Squad. Yeah. I don't know, I just don't want to go too top-heavy, you know? Yeah, I get what you mean. Uh, War Turtle. I th it's my favourite of the middle stages. Oh, of, okay. Of the Gen 1 Pokemon. Well, all of the other middle stages are in B. <laughs> a? I, I would have put it in A, personally, but I'd be happy with B as well. Yeah. I reckon if we would go back and watch our water type tier list, though, I reckon we put War Turtle <laughs> lower. But, uh, yeah, that's... Fine. Blastoise. I think that one would be an A. Okay. I don't think it's quite on the hype level of the other two. I do love it. I love the cannons. Uh, well, I personally would not have it any lower than Venusaur, so... Really? Well, Venusaur's my, one of my three that's guaranteed S. You're going to use one of yours on Blastoise? I mean, it belongs up there with, with Charizard, so... Yeah. Pikachu... A, I think. Yeah, it's it's fun using a Pikachu as your starter so you can be like Ash in the anime. I quite liked playing Let's Go Eevee with Eevee as a starter. I liked its special moves like Baddy Bad and Splishy Splash, Splash and Zappy Zap. Well, I don't even know if that's what it's called or not. But I like, have like most of the types, so where would you put it? I'm thinking C tier. Yeah. It, it was very cute. You know how in Let's Go how you could like play with your Pokemon. And dress them up and stuff. Chikorita. Where would you place it? I'd go C. It is the worst choice if you're playing a Gen 2 game because you got the flying type gym first, followed by the bug type gym. But I kind of view it as playing uh, Gold and Silver on hard mode. Yeah, that makes sense. I think it's uh, really underrated and I would go B tier. Bayleaf, I like more than Chikorita. Me too. But I don't think it's A-worthy. Okay. So... Yeah? I think so. Meganium, I like more than Bayleaf. Yeah, A. Cyndaquil. You know, I'm glad that we didn't get rid of the uh, uh, the E and F, because that whole line is an F for me. Dude, it's really popular, and it's probably my favourite starter line. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's really odd to me. They just don't change enough, in my opinion. Like, when you look at I mean, they the... don't need to drastically change. I know, but it's, like, the least changing, like, in my opinion. Yeah, why change a design that's solid? <laughs> Cyndaquil isn't really that solid of a design. It's great. It's an echidna they're, with they're flames just they're and spirit with spikes. Fire mouse Pokemon. And you thought it was an echidna. You thought it was a ferret. <laughs> more a mouse is more like a ferret than an echidna. Mouse. Yeah. That's what category it is. Origin. Cyndaquil's appearance is based on an echidna. Why did they categorize it as a mouse? <laughs> but it also has traits of shrews, anteaters, and 
Tenrex. I don't know what a Tenrex is. Probably some sort of Japanese animal. Well, I'm certainly not seeing ferrets here. That looks way more like a ferret, you have to admit. I'm using my S. Okay. Okay. Turtle. B. Solid. Croconaw? C. For alligator. A. Okay. Trico? Um... B? Okay. Grovile? C? No. Really? You like Grovile more than Trico? It's the coolest middle stage evolution of all of them. Oh, you're wrong. It's definitely the coolest middle stage. I disagree with okay, you. Okay, well, when we get to a Pokemon a middle stage that you think is cooler, bring it up. Okay. Sceptile, I'm thinking S or A. I'm thinking A. I'm using one of my free. Okay, so that's, <laughs> that's all, all of them. Oh, I'm sorry, Superior, another Pokemon that Rowan doesn't like. I never said I don't like Superior, it just doesn't have arms. <laughs> Torchic. Um, A. My sister's favourite. Combuskin. D. <laughs> yeah, it's just... It looks very weird. Blaziken. Yeah, S. I so cool. That. Mudkip. A. Yep. Marshtomp. C. Swampert. S. I can get behind this. Yep. Turtwig. B. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I like it. Have you seen that uh, image of it playing the drums? No. I got, I got a gif of it, and it's just a Turtwig <laughs> drumming. It's so good. Grottle. Uh, B. B? Yeah, I like Grottle way it's like a bit ugly, though. And really? I think it looks cool. Like, you can just see where it's, the bushes are sprouting, where the trees are going to be. When it it's makes Torterra. sense. Torterra, though. S or A, I'm thinking. S. Yep. Yep, I would yeah. agree. Yep. Chimchar. Uh, B. Okay. Monferno. Also B. Yeah, I... I think it's solid. Infernape? Uh, I'd like to go S. Yeah. I feel like we're, from now on we're just putting all of the final stages in there. There's some really cool ones in the Gen 4. Yeah. Piplup. B, I'd say. I'd say A. <laughs> We've had this discussion on, like... We've had this yeah. discussion before. I want to go A. But Brimplup. Yeah, D. That's, like, one of the... Another really weird-looking middle stage. Yeah. It's very awkward. So where's the birds? <laughs> Empoleon. Uh, really, B. Eh. I'd go A. Really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't like it that much, but I don't think it's B-worthy. Water still is interesting, I guess. Snivy. Um. I would go B personally. Yep. Servine? C. Okay. Superior? S. It's really and cool it, with its hidden ability. Yeah, and you think it has arms. It doesn't. It has hands, but it does not have arms. Tepig? Uh, I'd like to put Tepig in B. Cool. Pig Knight? Uh, probably C or D. Yeah. Embor? Uh, a or B. B. Yeah. B. Oshawott. Um, A. Uh, yeah, A. Because it's a. just as cute as... It is if just not as... cuter than Piplup. Mm -hmm. Do what? That's the coolest middle stage. So we get to tie it with Grovile then? Nope. S. One of my two. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll keep it in A. I agree it's up there with Grovile. It's like the it's same... It's cooler than Grovile. And I think Grovile... Looks, wait, this looks like a little ninja. If we're talking about ninjas. <laughs> Samurott. Uh, you don't? I put it in A. Wow. Yeah, I love Samurai, but it's just not as cool as the others. Okay. Chespin. Uh, C. D. For Quilladin. Yeah, Quilladin. Quilladin. <laughs> that was bad. bad. I don't like this at all. Chestnut. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. C. Why is it so bulky? And... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It's just a weird looking thing. When it got leaked, do you remember when they leaked? Like the yeah. yeah, I didn't think it was real. That's how much it like doesn't look like a you uh, like a typical Pokemon design, you know? Yeah, Chespin looks Pokemon-y, but Chespin Chespin does. doesn't. It doesn't look like it belongs in the same evolutionary line. Like most of them. I mean, especially for Typhlosion, you can tell. Oh, yeah, it's that's just a big um, Cyndaquil. It's that's... it's more ferocious than a big Cyndaquil. <laughs> anyway, point is, with most of them, you can sort of tell. Oh, yeah, that turns into that. That turns into that. But with that, you, I don't really get that vibe. Even from Quillen into Chestnut. Yeah, because doesn't have that vibe. Chespin looks like it would evolve into Chest uh, into Quillen. Fennekin. I got A for Fennekin. Yeah, it's very cute. Breakson. Uh, B. 
Del Fox. Yeah. Probably C. Or B. The Del Fox fans will hate us. There's yeah. a, quite a lot of them. Really? Yeah. I know, yeah. it just seems, like, weird. Like, I, I get the evolution. It's supposed like, to be, like, looks, a witch sort of thing. Yeah, it looks like the natural progression for it. Hmm. Froakie. I'd go A for Froakie. Very cool. Frogadier, I think it's up there with uh, Do-What and uh, well, Grovile. I wouldn't put it that high. So we'll go B then. Yeah. And Greninja. S. Most popular Pokemon. Be. Rowlet. Uh, probably A. Yeah, I love it. But I don't uh, like Dartrix. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, the birds. The yeah, always... can't trust them. <laughs> but Decidueye, I think, is really cool. Yeah, A. Litten. A. Okay. I don't really like Toracat. I'd put it in B. Okay. And S for Incineroar. It is in Smash. Yep. Incineroar! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you do it, dub it so it looks like I'm saying it. Like, like the uh, voice. Sure. Yeah. Incineroar! Poplio. You're not a fan of this line, are you? Not really. Where would you put Poplio? Probably C. Ooh, uh... Okay, B, but then Brion, or Brioni, however it's pronounced. And where would you put this? D. I actually like it as much as Poplio. Really? Yeah. And Primarina. B or A? Wouldn't go any higher than that. Grookey. We finally reached Gen 8. Um, I like Grookey. I'd probably put it in A. Grookey gang. <laughs> Not really Another a... awkward middle stage. Mm. I like that it puts its... its uh, yeah, I like its that its official to... art is very different to its um, animation. Like its uh, sprite or... Yeah, model. yeah. Because mm. when it doesn't have its drumsticks in its hair, it's like a big uh, a leaf... Yeah, it's like a mohawk of yeah. sorts. Rillaboom. Uh, go A. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's Gigantamax form. I love how it has a drum kit. So good. And I'm using one of my S's for Score Bunny. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the only non-final evolution in the S tier. So good. And Raboot. A or S? <laughs> it's fantastic. I... And Cinderace's... 100% going in S. Sobble? Probably A. I, yeah, weird middle stage, but then it looks really cool with Inteleon. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Drizzle. Yeah. Can you add in new rows? So, because of we didn't have anything in the E and F category, I thought we should go through it all over again with these new tiers. Because it just didn't seem right bunching them up. So look at A tier. I yeah. feel as though we can... We can separate the best of the best. Yeah. What I'm thinking is we should go through... Starting from the top? Starting from S. Venusaur. S plus. See, this is where I disagree with you. Really? Yeah. Alright, so... So... I think... Charizard now the... and Blastoise have that iconic status of being like... The box art legendary? Uh, not legendary. <laughs> but the box art Pokemon. Not just that, but if you look at like Stadium... They're the front cover of Stadium. They're like that that rivalry of starters that you just don't get from Venusaur because it's not really... I know Leaf Green, Venusaur, was the cover of box and art there. And it was the box art for, for the Japanese. Green, yeah, I know, but we didn't really have... Uh... I think it's had a lot of representation, in, especially in the like uh, manga and... I mean, if we're talking representation, Charizard has the most representation. Yeah. But personal opinion, I think Venusaur is cooler than both of them. I think the three of them sort of belong together. So... Yeah. Or do you think... See, I think Blastoise doesn't fit with Charizard and Venusaur in S+. And I think Bl Venusaur doesn't really fit with Charizard <laughs> and Blastoise. I guess we'll have to agree to disagree and just have them all in S. Typhlosion Fusion stays in S. Yeah, that should stay in S. Blaze can could probably go S plus. Okay. As long as Swampert goes S plus. See, but I would want Sceptile S plus and not Swampert <laughs> S plus. So we, <laughs> we're, we're keeping both of them in S. Okay. Poor Terra and and Infernape. I think they'd stay where they are. Superior. S plus superior. Wow, really? Yeah. Greninja. Yeah, probably S plus. Incineroar. Incineroar. 
As much as I like it, I'd still keep it in S. Score Bunny has to stay in no, S, not S+. Plus. Score Bunny's going S+. Plus. But, uh, That's I'm... my one that I'm picking. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Cinderace. Cinderace, Cinderace is probably my favourite starter in general. So now, that looks real good. I'm real happy with how that turns out. Yeah. Next up, we got A+. Plus. So, Bulbasaur. I'd like to put that in A+. Plus. I don't think Wartortle no. should bring up Pikachu. Um... It is fun trying to replicate Ash's team, but... <laughs> but I don't think it's quite there. Yeah. Neither is Meganium. I would put Meganium on the same tier as Bulbasaur. Really? Yeah. No, yeah, fine. Meganium is, like, the best form of Chikorita's evolutionary line. For Alligator... I wouldn't put it up there. I really like it, but I just don't think it's, like, quite with their level. Grovile, which I think is the coolest of the middle stages, but... Would you put do what in A plus? No. Okay, so then that belongs in A two. Torchic could possibly go A plus. And Mudkip as well, yeah. I think. Piplup? Probably not. Then that means that. No, uh... but that should. <laughs> nah, I we'll think keep them both yeah. there. Then Napoleon. I think keep in A. Okay, but I think Samurai should, should, should go A, a+. plus. But don't you prefer do what over? Yeah, I do, but I just don't want Grovile in A+. I just don't think it deserves it, so I'm willing to compromise. Okay. Fennekin? Uh, probably stay in A. Froakie? Possibly A+, plus, but would be happy with A. Rowlet? Would you put Rowlet in A+. Plus? People treat Rowlet as a god. <laughs> really? Yeah, the Pokemon fanbase, because Ash is Rowlet in the anime, in the Sun and Moon anime. No, I didn't watch Sun and Moon, so... But uh, I think Litten should go A+. Plus. Yeah, I agree. I think it's fine keeping Decidueye and Primarina in A. Yep, I'm happy with that. Grookey? Grookey Gang. I think Grookey could go A+. Plus. Where would you... I'd keep Rillaboom in A. So... I think I like Grookey more than Rillaboom. Okay, definitely A+, plus for yeah. uh, Raboot. Subble, I'm thinking that, but... Yeah, but I keep on there. Yep. Cool, so that's our A tier. I'm really liking this extra plus tier. Yeah, I think okay. it needs it for these yeah. stars. Ivysaur. Wouldn't put it in B+. Plus. Okay, but Charmander? Yes. Charmeleon? No. Yes. Squirtle? No. Bayleaf? No. Totodile? No. Trico? Yes. Yep. Yes. Turtwig? Yep. Grottle? Probably not. Uh, Chimchar? Yeah, I think so. Monferno? Not, Mon not Monferno. Snivy? Probably not. Okay, I think I would. I think I would. Because I prefer it over Tepig. I think it's better than Tepig. Okay. Tepig? No. <laughs> Embor? Probably not. Brakeson? I'd say yes, actually. I would prefer Brakeson over Delphox. Frogger Deer, I think, is at least Brakeson level. At least. I would probably. Yeah. I would personally go A for Frogger Deer. You know what? I think it stands apart over those other ones, so put it in A. Cool. Tora Cat. I'd put that I in think B, so. B plus, yeah. Poplio, I think is fine yeah. B. Eevee? Probably bump it up to B. You think? I, I think so. Okay. Chikorita? S stay where it is. Cyndaquil? Stay. I prefer it over uh, Croconaw though, but Marsh Chomp, yeah, it's fine. Servine? Yeah. Or maybe put Chespin up. And maybe Cyndaquil as well. Okay. Oh, but now I want to put Chikorita up as well. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fine. And I don't think I'd change anything in D. So we still had trouble deciding it, and you had to put in a C plus just for Chikorita. Yep. <laughs> Chikorita, Chikorita gets, gets so his cool. own tier. <laughs> <laughs> I would prefer it over Croconaw and all the others there. Yeah, I can see that, but I wouldn't put it above any of the others. I, I like that we added the plus tiers. I think that's good. Yeah, I think it needed it, because there was never never going to be an E or a F yeah. uh, with these starters. Like, there's starters that we don't really like, but they're mostly just middle... They are all just middle stages, and yeah. like once they evolve, they get a lot better. I'm happy with that list. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let us know which is your favourite starter in the comments below, and also which tier list you'd like to see us make next. Thanks for joining me today. Always fun. Thanks for watching... And I'll explain you later. Hello, Ryan here, and welcome back to another Pokemon Explained video. Today, we're doing a starter type tier. 
starter type. <laughs> Starters aren't types. They're a kind of Pokemon that you get gifted at the start of a game. Should we restart that? Put this in, like, post, because I usually do, like, a cool quip at the start of it. Oh, yeah. Don't get me started. <laughs> so I'm putting it at the start or at the end? <laughs> yeah. Just, like, have it awkwardly put in there. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, but... I think I'll chuck it at the end. Beep.